Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Beloy, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how I store my planner sticker kits and my um, single sheet stickers from Etsy shops. Um, so first I will take you through my kind of single sheet ones. I used an, um, an older cover from a mini happy planner and I just used that and then I got some bigger um, happy planner rings. These are the rose gold rings and then just switched those out and then I used um, just pieces of cardstock um, and I made a couple little tabs kind of just separated a little bit um, but anyways just going through this is where I keep um, my sticky fox stickers I have a few here and then I have some pumpkin paper co ones and some a bunch of these once more with love a lot of like fall ones because I think that was the last time I ordered from them. Um, some Coffee Monsters Co. Love these little post-its. I think they're adorable. I get scared that I'm not gonna I'm gonna run out though, so I never use them. I am a bit of a um, Harry Potter hoarder. Let me zoom you in for a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit of a Harry Potter sticker hoarder. I have a bunch of Harry Potter stickers but i never use them oh my goodness it's bad um but yeah i think i'll probably i'll try and use these up but i never want to use them because i don't i don't want to give them up i want to see them always but um i know i'll probably i'll have to you know you got to use them sometime but anyways um little watercolor swatches lots of stickers from the coffee monsters co they're one of my favorites um there's youtube i use these Mostly in my monthly spreads, and then I use this on my weekly spreads. Um, just a couple Frank Hearts U ones. Some Stick With Me Shop. And I like being able to, some plans with Vanessa, I like being able to flip through my stickers and see them quickly. Um, and then I go into freebies. I like to be able to just see everything on one page and flip through rather than like having them loose somewhere. Um, I do have a few that are loose. Um, from some shops and I actually got some you can hear my dog in the background by the way um, I actually have some acrylic drawers that I use to store some of my loose stickers but um, I try to keep like all my freebies because you never use your freebies if you don't see them out um, so yeah I always keep these in and just flip through like I need something wonder if I have a freebie then I started to do some things like um, I'd like to look takes took some part uh, well I'm losing it <laughs> I took used to take some of my kits apart and kind of put the extra pieces here just so I could collect them in all in one spot um, but I found it easier to just keep them all in my uh, in one place so I haven't been updating this as often um, then I have just a couple more um, stickers that I didn't make a section for so I've got some script vlogger live stickers from Heather Ann Plans um, happy, happy Daya Daya I'm sure I'm saying it wrong but I'm sorry but she's one of my absolute favorite shops um, I have a huge order coming soon and I will definitely share with you um, the things that I purchased I have it's definitely a huge order <laughs> um, but these ones are really cute I as you know I have a dachshund and so I have some stickers there these are her Korean barbecue ones which I love I haven't used any of them because we haven't gone to Korean barbecue but next time I do I will be using those um, here's some Indian food again haven't been using Indian food um, some grilled cheese and tomato soup some ramen, um, steak, and veg, and then change bed sheet stickers, which I think are super cute. Um, then I have some Tamashi prints, and the first time I discovered both Happy Daya and Tamashi prints was through a Planner Girl exclusive sale. I think it was, the, yeah, it was a PGE sale. Um, so yeah, I got these contact um, stickers because I do wear contacts. 
um, some little um, workout stickers, some Instagram ones. I haven't used these too much yet, but I'll probably use them more in my Erin Condren that um, I had recently hauled. So if you haven't seen that haul um, with my new Erin Condren and how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna use that for, um, I'll probably use that in there. I have some cute little wine stickers. I'm not a big wine fan, but I just thought these were really cute. I mean, you could use them anyways. Um, any, in, you know, just having, going out and having drinks anyways. Um, this cute little taking gardening one, um, which is cute. I'm excited to use those when we start um, finish working on our landscaping. Then the last sheet I got from them was this little sushi set, which I thought was super cute. Um, and then these were the freebies um, for that PGE sale. So I could put them all together. And this one even came with like a little full box, which I thought was super cute. Um, I haven't used it yet. Maybe something, if I have like a red kit, um, I'll use that one. Then I have just some script stickers from Sticker Bloom. Um, and I was planning on using these at the end of the week. I always do my meal plan for the following week. And then that's all that I have. I just have one extra sheet. Um, so yeah, this has been super useful. All right, next up uh, that I will show you is my planner sticker kits. And um, this ha houses all of my weekly sticker kits from Etsy. And I am just using one of these mini binders from Target. And the covers are some um, just, Dachshund paper from Michaels. And then these two stickers are, um, they're kind of like cardstock stickers almost, but they are from a, um, if you go in the scrapbook section of your local scrapbooking store. So the brand, the brand's not Highline, it's, um, it's actually basic gray, but it was the Highline um, series, I believe. So it's actually a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, that I use there and I use this these stickers for scrapbooking um, But I thought these would be super cute just to use as a little label on here um, And if you don't know I have a dachshund um, his name is Gary and he's my absolute adorable little darling um, And I also have a black lab. She is my husband's little darling. That's his little girl She's about 12 years old and then Gary is about Four. He's gonna be five in September. Um, so yeah, he's my sweetheart. Um, so yeah, I love anything with dachshunds on them. I will probably, of course, be making a dachshund kit or dachshund stickers with at Sticky Fox. Those are things that are coming down the pipeline. But anyways, um, as I open this up, I keep all of my loyalty cards in here. So I've got my Coffee Monsters Co. one. Um, I just started this one. It's from Creating & Co. Um, I like to order from different shops, so that's why a lot of these don't have, except for Coffee Monsters Co. That one's almost done. Um, but I like to order from different shops, so I don't always fill these things in. Like Planting Roses is a new one that I haven't ordered from before, and Paper Focus is a new one that I haven't ordered from before. Little Indigo Papery I've ordered two twice from, and I definitely plan on ordering again. Um, I have organized my sticker sheets with these little um, plastic dividers. They're kind of floppy dividers. And I use my label maker, and I split them up by seasons. And then I also have a section for themed, themed stickers. So I can do a quick flip through of these. Then I have some just like freebie extras that I need to kind of sort out or they're big piece, big sticker sheets that just won't fit in my um, other um, little planner one. So you can see size comparison, um, the size of this little sticker book. So in the first section is my spring section and I'm not going to go through any of all of these. You'll definitely see videos or, or anything, something like that um, on my channel using these kits, but um, I just split these up. Can't wait to use this one. I'm, I got the little extra, can't, I'm a cancer. Um, I got that little extra bit. That one's from Planting Roses. Um, just some cute ones. Um, I 
buy a lot of my stickers in the pg e sales. Um, I am that sale person. <laughs> um, I love Happy Daya. I have like three more kits from Happy Daya coming soon, so I'm excited to show those. Um, then I have my winter section. I just want to do a quick flip through because these are all ones that I will be definitely sharing um, here on my channel. Um, and here's my themed section. These are the ones that I don't know. <laughs> I hoard these stickers. Um, I definitely want to save this Star Wars themed one. Um, this one is from Sticker Bloom. Um, definitely want to save this probably for a Star Wars release. Um, probably solo. I want to go to see that in the theaters. So that one will be fun to use. Um, this one is from Creating & Co. And it is just so beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous. Again, I just don't want to use it yet because I love it so much. I just love looking at it. So I don't know when I'll use this. But um, yeah. And then I have the... Ravenclaw Colors from Odd Loop. Um, Marauder's Map Legendary Kit. I think I am planning on using this one, definitely. I am actually planning on using this. Um, no, not this one. I want to order the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them kit from Kia Town and use that one for the release in November. So I'm, I'm planning to use that one. This one... Um, I'll probably just hoard again. <laughs> um, and then this is a recent haul, which I will show you, um, from Two Little Bees. Two Little Bees. And I got this cute little journaling card, which I plan on doing a Harry Potter B6 um, planner setup soon. So I definitely want to save some of these, like this washi sheet. I don't know that I'll ever use it. It's so beautiful. So, yeah, I think... I think I'll definitely save these for that spread. Um, and then I did get the, um, I think this is, I think this was the mini kit, um, which was the only thing that, that was left. The, everything else was, up, was sold out already. So um, I just grabbed the mini kit, um, which I, I think I'll plan on using this probably because um, it's not too, too much. And it's that, that, um, artwork that I've really seen in a lot of places so I feel like I won't feel too bad for using it up um but yeah like some of these are just I mean she I think she made these which let me just flip you through um where's the full boxes I mean it's just really simple but it's just really absolutely gorgeous I think I might use this um, Maybe for my birthday week. I think that would be fun. I think I'll definitely save these for special weeks like that, though. Um, so, yeah. Odd Loop, I don't know when I'll want to use that because it's just so beautiful. Um, and I definitely hoard those kits when I do get them. I actually got this a really long time ago. Um, so, yeah. Those are my themed ones. I'm definitely always looking out for Harry Potter kits. So... If you have a shop and you have a Harry Potter kit, please link it down below because I'm always interested. Um, and then back here, I just have some um, One Orange Snowflake stickers. Um, these are her old st um, style setups of the icons. I use these a lot. Um, I haven't shopped with her shop in a while because I don't. I think she changed everything up and didn't do these anymore. So I have to go back and look. But yeah, I use these quite often and then in here are just some extras I did one of those um, grab bags and glitter headers and you know just little bits and pieces from like scribble prints co I've got just some like flight trackers um, I think this was that grab bag um, the oops grab bag which if you get an oops grab bag from I don't know if it was an oops. It may not have been an oops, but if it was, I mean, there's really very little wrong with those stickers from Scribble Prince Co. So if you're looking for a good oops grab bag kit to get from somewhere, I definitely recommend um, Scribble Prince Co. Because 
they're basically amazing. Some other sticker um, storage kits that I have, um, I also wanted to take you through. This is my Happy Planner um, sticker storage. <laughs> And I was planning on using this um, for all Happy Planner stuff, but I ended up just only using these for the Rainbow Functional. Um, there was like a kit one, some functional bits, and then some Seasons Holidays one. Um, I can't remember the name of the Happy Planner that these were from, but um, I'm just gonna do a quick like. These were basically just like the different colors um, that I supplement these kits, um, which you can probably see a lot of these stickers have been used. Um, and I definitely use my Happy Planner stickers in place of a kit sometimes. Um, a lot of stickers that I still haven't used yet. I'm definitely starting to use more of these functional ones. And then back here are just from, I think this was from the seasonal kit um, sticker book, but just a couple more back there. And I made this with, these are some extra large um, Happy Planner discs. And then I laminated a bit of scrap paper, scrapbook paper, punched some holes, and then just sliced these and made my own cover for um, this little sticker storage. And then I just made a couple little tabs here too. And those are all on cardstock. Um, I've mentioned this a few times. This is how I store my extras um, from my leftover kits. So kits that I have done um, spreads in, in my Erin Condren, these are all my leftover stickers. Um, so the current week that I um, am using, I actually have a drawer labeled planner stickers on my desk um, that I keep those stickers and the previous weeks and the next weeks um, just because I like to have the basically those three weeks. The current week, the previous week, and the next week kind of all still there because I do still go back and say, oh yeah, I forgot I did this on last week so I just want to mark it down really quick. Um, but yeah, I pull in these stickers um, pretty often when I am using a kit from the Happy Planner. Um, so I will pull out stickers that kind of match that color scheme. So I never throw away my extras ever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty simple, easy way to store all your leftovers kind of like grouped together, but not, you know, creating a whole book system. And last but not least, I actually don't always just use stickers um, from Etsy shops or from the Happy Planner books. And I do also um, do some Project Life um, scrapbooking and memory keeping. So I do have quite a bit of my scrapbook stickers and I just wanted to take you through. This is like a very bulky, um, I kind of squish it onto a, a bookshelf, um, but it's a very bulky little sticker organizer that I actually picked up from Michaels. I think this would be a great sticker organizer for Etsy stickers as well. Um, the only thing I wish was bigger was this coil. It is very small, so <coughs> so it definitely does not completely contain it. Um, all the stickers together, um, like my disc rings. You know, you try to get the disc rings that are going to be thicker, so that it will still lay flat. Um, this one definitely does not. That is my only complaint about this, but otherwise it is pretty cute and um, I like the space that it gives for some of my stickers that are larger sheets. So this first section, I have quite a few leftover stickers from like Coco Daisy in here too as well, so you might see a few of those, um, but <clears throat> I just have some 
Sticker sheets, a lot of times people give me sticker sheets like these for Christmas in my stocking. Um, so I have a lot of like random um, stickers that I wouldn't normally purchase for myself, but are nice to have um, for, for the occasional Project Life spread. And of course I go to Tuesday morning and Joann's, um, not Joann's, Tuesday morning, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and they always have stickers and I usually like to pick them up. I also had an Ali Edwards subscription for quite a while, so a few of the stickers from those monthly kits um, are also in there. I also keep the rest of my Ali Ed Edwards um, kits and stamps and things um, elsewhere in my office. So yeah, I've just got quite a few. I love these little pop-up ones. Um, I think, what are those ones from? They're like... Joanne's Crafts or something like that. I don't know. I forget the name of them, but they have a blue label at the top. I know that much. <laughs> but they're like these three-dimensional stickers that are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, we live in Colorado, so I'll definitely use those to memory keep a, a um, ski trip. Um, this year I want to do a spread of us carving our pumpkin, so there's some three-dimensional stickers there to do a spread. There's a cute little, um, what are those? Gingerbread house. Yeah, there you go. Um, I do pull sometimes pull in some of these stickers in my planner spreads. So occasionally you'll see some random sticker we get pulled in like that. Um, but yeah, this is generally just um, these random stickers. I also um, did have a Pipstick subscription, so some of these stickers are from there. Um, and I like this one. I also purchased quite a few stickers from an Etsy shop called um, Pikwacha, I think. And they are a Etsy shop from China. I haven't ordered too much from them lately because the shipping costs are have gone up. Um, but I did get a lot of stickers there. I have a lot of wedding stickers um, left over from my wedding that I still need to continue and finish. And it's been almost three years now. Um, but yeah, and Hawaii stickers for our honeymoon. And then just some random stuff in the back, so. Since this is a sticker storage video, I did wanna also show you where I keep more of my stickers. This is a drawer on the side of my desk. And this is where I keep all of my Happy Planner sticker books. Um, and then here's some of the stickers for my fitness um, planner kit that I had got. Um, so yeah, this is how I store those. Pretty just simple. I've got a lot of also just loose stickers. These are mostly from Pip Sticks or from Pick Watch On. I think I'm saying that wrong, but whatever. <laughs> so I keep those all in there right next to my sugar quill from Harry Potter World. One more place that I do keep stickers is in these little acrylic drawers. Um, I have a couple just loose leaf stickers from various different shops, um, some um, little freebies that I also use, and then I have my washi collection down here, and then more stickers um here's some from my newest addiction i this was just a grab bag so a lot of the stickers look really messed up i mean it was definitely an oops bag but <laughs> um so yeah um but i have those in there and then um just some extra little bits and bobs but definitely wanted to show that to you all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I store all of my stickers. And um, hopefully that was helpful to see some definitely different ideas because I definitely, if I see an idea, I'm like, oh, let's try that. Um, so yeah, different um, ideas have worked for different things. Um, but yeah, I think that um, about covers how I store everything in my office. Um, a lot of these, like, these two are definitely kept out most often. I keep this in my drawer next to my desk. These two 
um, I keep on a bookshelf. So um, not all of them are out on my desk um, to flip through, but these definitely are most often because I use them every single week. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Um, also, if you wanna see more planner videos, lifestyle videos and vlogs, um, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.